Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Today we have a little bit of a different video and I'm really excited to share with you all my college decisions and all of the colleges I'm actually applying to. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually a sophomore in college as of right now and I plan to transfer. I did two years of community college after I graduated high school in 2021. I'm planning to get my bachelor's in a degree of either business administration with a concentration of marketing or some type of digital like media type communications and journalism type degree. And I'm just gonna be sharing with you all like the colleges I've applied to, if I got accepted or not, the pros and cons between all of them. And spoiler alert, there's actually not gonna be like a final decision at the end of today's video, but that is because I actually want your guys' help and this video is just to kind of include you in on this big life-changing decision because I will also be moving out with all of this and I'm taking you guys along with me and because we're in it together, right? Let's just get on into it. I've actually applied to seven different colleges. Three are in the Washington DC area, but then also four of these colleges are in New York City and as you guys know, I love going to New York City. My dream would be to go to school there. I know some people are running to the comments right now just because of how many people are moving to New York, but please just hear me out at the end of this video. I went on tours for all seven of these as well. And I also have notes on every single college and I think the first one we're gonna start with are the New York schools just because they're the most fun and it's probably the reason why you clicked on today's video. We're gonna first start off with FIT or the Fashion Institute of Technology. So to start off, yes, I did get accepted. I was so happy to get accepted into FIT and to have this option on my list. So the major I applied to at FIT is their AMC Advertising and Marketing and Communications degree. This is a one-year associate's degree, but I don't even need to reapply to get my bachelor's. This major is actually in their business school, which is, I guess, kind of weird as people have been saying to be a business major at like an art school. We actually had a scheduled tour with a different school, but we stopped by FIT and someone was kind enough to just like walk through the school with us but I didn't get to see any of the student life just because it was actually on their break but tomorrow is actually their admitted students day which I'm actually attending. For the campus it was actually more of like an older campus. It's super small. It's only two blocks in Chelsea as I said and here's what it kind of looks like. Down that middle street area of like where the two campuses are on each side so the buildings are on each side of the road as you guys are seeing. Here's a photo actually of their cosmetics and fragrance like science type lab when here's just more photos of the campus and then also here's their cafeteria like dining hall area they also had so many study abroad programs i know for a fact when i transfer i want to study abroad they offer even more cities through the worldwide system of sunny because fit is a sunny suny school i don't know s-u-n-y the state of new york here's just more of the building this is the picture of like the entrance like main area and then also for the community like student life i've heard that the community is warm and nice but there's also just like such a stereotype with art schools just with how cutthroat it kind of is as art schools are known to be like super competitive I will have probably a different opinion on this like tomorrow yes so about that I really like the student body when I visited I've never seen so many well-dressed people although the day we visited it was like pouring rain outside and I felt like the industrial gray campus looked even more depressing than it already is and I feel like it's kind of stupid to say but I feel like that type of industrial like gray looking building would impact my health I just know that like how I associate my environment with like my mood and I just feel like it wouldn't be good. The person who also talked about my program, it was professional but it was kind of that like witty sarcastic humor which is commonly found in like art schools. Although I had a great time, I was laughing through it but I just kept thinking in my head like oh this is not the place for me and I was kind of disappointed just because I really really wanted to like this school but I will talk about the New York school I chose at the end of this video. But enough about FIT, I know I have to go through this really quickly just because this video will literally be like two hours hours long if I don't like cut it short. The next New York school is Pace University. I got accepted here, woohoo. I got around $20,000 in a scholarship here. My major that I applied to is in their Lubin School of Business. It is digital marketing. Now going into the photos of like their campus, they actually had the most up-to-date, like super modern, nice campus in my opinion. And they're still renovating it. And if I go in the fall, they're gonna have like a brand new dining hall, all this crazy stuff. And it looked fine when I went. So it's actually crazy to know that they're still renovating it. Here's just some pictures of like their like hallways of the Lubin School of Business, which is where I would be. And then also here's a video of like their dining hall. But once again, I guess it's supposed to be like renovated. And then here's like their main kind of like hallway area. This is like when you first walk in, this is what you see. But now going into like the student life and not just the campus, I was not even aware of how bad of a reputation they kind of have for their student body until I actually went on TikTok. And I was really, really surprised just because I fell in love with the school. 
like building. If you go on like TikTok or something, like there's just constantly kids complaining about it. Although we did meet with some financial aid advisor. I asked them about it too because they also have a really low graduation rate. He actually had a really good response and he was saying that they were actually working on it and they're doing a lot of like activities and clubs to kind of like bring the student body together. And that's also why they keep renovating the buildings because I guess students would complain about how old it was, which I didn't see at all. But I guess they're making an effort and it's good that they're kind of aware of that. And also one thing I feel like that Pace is really good for is getting a job after college because they push the internships. They also have a lot of different connections as well, but I feel like that's really common in any New York school. And then also I didn't see much student life because it was Easter break. So I couldn't really see the whole student body that everyone complains about. So I actually don't know. I thought it was a great school. Like as soon as I left that building, I was like, oh my gosh, I can totally picture myself here. But at the end of this video, I'm gonna get into like my top choices and Pace actually isn't on there, but I still wanted to put Pace in this video to see what you guys think. Next up is NYU. This school is definitely my reach school. And I actually have not received my letter yet, so I don't know if I got in or not. Their acceptance rate is only 8% this year. And for the Stern School of Business, it's like a 1% acceptance rate. I didn't realize how hard it was to get into Stern. I should have just applied to like the liberal arts, but I applied to their Stern School of Business. NYU, once again, is definitely my reach school. I definitely don't think I'll get in. I'm not really that qualified with my stats. And my GPA isn't the greatest, at least for NYU. I will let you guys know if I hear from them. If I do, then I have to go up and tour them because I actually did not tour NYU just because I didn't want to tour that campus if I got denied. And I just didn't need to like have that to cry about. As of right now, it's not really on the table, but if I do, obviously the tables turn. Anyways, now on to the last NYC school. Now I'm gonna be talking about Fordham University. Fordham actually has two campuses and the one I applied to is their Lincoln Center campus, which is in Manhattan, two blocks away from Central Park near Columbus Circle. And I actually got accepted into this college and I'm so, so excited to have this as like an opportunity to explore. And I actually applied to a communications major there, which I feel like is kind of more up my alley because I love business and marketing and all of that, but I definitely don't like the academy accounting and like finance kind of side of it, which is what you have to take in a business administration degree. But with Fordham, I applied to a communications degree and it's called Digital Technologies and Emerging Media. It reminds me of FIT where it's a little bit more like specific to my interests. They had a bunch of papers and stuff out for us to take. Isn't this so pretty? Like it's so stunning, their whole campus. Then we had this like panel. Here's their dining hall. It's kind of a bad picture. I'm sorry about that. And then their law school was gorgeous. They have so many different like study rooms and stuff like that and I actually don't even need to be a law student to go there so I could actually go to the law school to like study and then this picture right here is actually the views from the dorms if I were to be going to this school I think I would actually dorm I'm gonna try my best to get like a single but I think for my first semester I have to they take up two blocks but Fordham actually had like a huge nice like strip of grass it's actually like elevated off from the main street as you guys can see in this picture only Fordham students can really hang out in this area honestly we we went on like the perfect day. It was like 70 degrees, clear skies, sunny. It was beautiful out. So a lot of my general eds and more like bigger classes would actually be here. Fordham actually had the smallest student to teacher ratio. It was I think 13 to one. And also Fordham's Lincoln Center campus is right next to the Lincoln Center, like the performing arts place. Our tour guide was actually talking about how like the students get like discounted tickets to like the Lincoln Center shows and everything, which I think is so cool. She even mentioned that she got like free tickets to Rolling Loud which is crazy to me. All the students that talked at the panel, one of the big decisions that they did when choosing Fordham was because of the strong community. So I definitely think that's super important. And I didn't find anything on TikTok or anything about like students hate like going there. Everyone seems to really like it there. Oh my gosh. And one thing I really, really like to get from the like liberal arts building or your dorm building, there's actually these like underground tunnels. You actually don't even need to step outside. And she says that like a lot of students will just like wear shorts in the winter time. One thing I also liked about just the campus and students life is that they have shuttles to the Rose Hill campus. The Rose Hill campus is actually in the Bronx, but they noted that the commute there would be a little bit dangerous. And so the Lincoln Center kids can actually take the shuttles so I can go to like the football games, the homecomings, the winter formals, all that like fun stuff, which I thought was so cool because that is one thing I would have to give up if I go to school in New York City. I personally don't care, but it is nice knowing that that's still open if I go to Fordham. That is it for the New York schools. I'm now going to get into the three schools I applied to in the Washington DC area. 
The first school I applied to was American University. I actually don't have my decision for this school yet. I'm still waiting on that. So whenever I find out, I will once again let you guys know. Although I did do a full on professional like tour with them. I applied to their business school with a major in business administration with a concentration in marketing. All the schools in DC I did that. The day we toured American University it was like the most perfect blue sky 70 degree weather. Here is their Kogod School of Business. Honestly it was super super nice. As you guys can see they had a quad which is known as like the big kind of land strip and you kind of have to walk like to your buildings that just surround the quad area and also here's their international studies building but Look how beautiful this campus was. All the flowers were like being planted the day we went. Here's their communications building, which honestly I wish I applied to. Here's actually a picture of their dorm, but I would be living off campus if I went to school in Washington, DC. But I just took a picture of this just for my sister in case if she wanted to go here. And for the sake of this video, here's one of their cute little coffee shops like on campus. One of the things I definitely picked up on it is that it's an academically motivated student body. You could tell everyone took their studies really, really seriously, but I literally don't even know if I got in or not. The same exact day we toured American University, my mom and I actually went just 15 minutes downtown into DC and toward George Washington University. I also applied to this school for my decision. I once again have not heard from this school. This campus was a little bit more spread out in downtown Washington DC. If you guys once again are from the area, the Foggy Bottom Metro stop is like literally the GW stop there as well. I think I definitely learned that I like more of the city kind of broken up college campus feel after touring American and then going to GW. And there was a lot of cafes and restaurants and stuff in between and I really really liked that so it's actually super insightful that we're able to kind of just observe me going through the different campuses but my mom and I just walked right into the business school and here's what it kind of looks like inside super like office looking once again just like American University it was super quiet and you could tell that there was a more like academically like determined student body <laughs> Okay guys, we are now heading into the last school. We are gonna be talking about Marymount University in Arlington, Virginia. I actually got accepted into this school super quickly. I applied to their business administration degree with a concentration in marketing. We got an official tour of like their traditional college campus and all like the department buildings are kind of like spread out, but they're all really relatively close together. Like I've seen bigger college campuses. This one's not big at all, which honestly I kind of like. This little like pathway area was super, super cute. The, one of their coffee shops is in like one of these doors right here. One of the things I just didn't like about their traditional campus is that it had like a very old like colonial feel to it. As you guys can see in this picture, this is like their administrative like main like building. And then after that, we drove to Boston to go toward their business school. It was only five minutes away. And as you guys can see, it instantly looks more like a city. The business students, like they have the best building in my opinion. It was so, so pretty. It was like, I forget how many stories it was. It was pretty tall. Hall. like there's a lot of different levels and I love the stairways they're so modern and pretty and like made of glass and then look at these classrooms like they're so so pretty and like look at all the goodies they gave us their student to teacher ratio thing was 1 to 17 once again super super small classes compared to like NYU one thing I didn't like about Marymount that they're actually changing into this new school year that I'm actually going into is that they're gonna now require for all students to live four years on campus it's just not my first choice although we did talk to the Dean lady and she was saying that I can possibly talk to like the administration people or something and just get like an exception of some sort. If I don't get accepted into American University or GW, this would be my school of choice since I already got accepted here. If I were to stay at home or like in the area, crossing my fingers, I can get my own apartment though off campus. I'm quickly just gonna review like kind of the pros and cons if I were to go to New York and then obviously like if I were to go to DC just so you guys can kind of step into my shoes and kind of get my whole perspective on this. I'm gonna list off all the things that like New York City has to offer that DC doesn't really have to offer. First off, all of the media and advertising opportunities. I feel like New York City is the hub of that. Second is all of the influencer events. I feel like you don't really get a lot of those opportunities and stuff like that around here at least, but I know it's really, really 
really common in New York City. Also, New York Fashion Week. Living there, like, I feel like there'd be so many opportunities. New York City is also the headquarters for, like, a lot of makeup and clothing brands. Like, for example, all the companies I work with, the majority of them have a headquarters or they're, like, located or based in New York City. My management team is also located in New York City. I feel like New York City also has a better metro system, as I've said. Now onto what DC has to offer that New York City doesn't have. First off is all of the political and international opportunities. I mean, you're like near the White House and all of that is like located in DC. Although the biggest thing that DC has is my family and my boyfriend and my cats. That's definitely something to consider. I really, really don't want to leave my family, especially my boyfriend and my cats, but I really can't have them hold me back on certain opportunities, but it is nice that they're here. It's something I would have that New York doesn't. I would also have my car, which is kind of nice. I can go on drives and go drive far, like wherever I want to go. Like I would have the opportunity to go drive somewhere. I would also have a larger apartment and most likely laundry in unit. And then some of the things I guess I don't really like about DC, but what they have is that it's more of like a dead city. There's not like a crazy amount of nightlife, like how in New York is. Like New York is literally known as the city that never sleeps. I know DC definitely sleeps at night. Depends really on the neighborhood that you're in though. Now just looking at this list, all the things that DC has, they're not really opportunities. They're more of comfort. I feel like New York City's list is a lot more like opportunities and stuff like that where this list for DC, it's more of just like the comfort of having like a large apartment, washer and dryer and unit, and like my family, my cats, all that stuff. Lastly, I feel like both cities have an urban life to some extent. They're both cities. They both have cute coffee shops. I Wrote down. I feel like that's important to me because I love going to coffee shops. Both cities offer that, which is good. They also both offer really good food. I'm a little bit biased though, and I feel like New York City offers a lot more options and better food, but that's just me though. I know that DC has some really good food though too. Funny enough, the rent prices are actually like the same for New York City and DC. I'd be paying like the same exact price with being in DC. I would be getting laundry in unit and then also like double or triple the amount of square footage. They both have metro and public transportation systems. Both cities also have museums and vintage and flea markets, which I think is also really important to me because that's something I enjoy doing. It's nice to know that they both have those things. I did say I would give you guys kind of my top choices. So I think the colleges I'm gonna move forward in like deciding on is definitely FIT and Fordham. I've already heard my opinions on FIT's Admitted Students Day event and I'm actually choosing Fordham for my NYC school. I'm thinking about doing at least one year there and if I hate it, I can always transfer out. But if I go to New York, it would definitely be Fordham. I don't know about NYU yet, but that's not even on the table, but I don't think I will pursue Pace. And then for like the DC schools, I would really like to have GW, but as of right now, it's not an option. The only option I have is Marymount. I feel like my opinion changes so much in this video, but it is two weeks later. I honestly would like to get accepted into American University. Obviously, I would want to have all the options here, but like for example, if I get denied from GW but get accepted to AU, I'd probably pick American University over Marymount because it's in Washington, D.C. So I just kind of wanted to put that in here. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on it, especially if any of you guys are watching this and you're also applying to like the same schools or if someone is possibly watching this that goes to one of the schools I met. Mentioned. Like I would really really appreciate it if you could like private message me or leave a comment down below If you want to stay updated with all this college stuff Make sure to follow me on Instagram I post all the trips I do to all these colleges and like the information on that and like I'll most likely be posting like what I commit to first on Instagram and then also subscribe to my channel if you want to There's definitely gonna be a whole lot of moving out in college vlogs and content coming up this summer And lastly if you did make it up to the end comment down below this secret emoji I like to see who's watching up to the end of my my videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!